Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities YouTube channel and welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. We bring about psychological, emotional, and coaching related topics as often as we can. We've got over 480 audios for you to check out and over 500 subscribers have joined us thus far. If you know someone you think might benefit from these uh, conversations, little mini conversations, please feel free to share the information with them. Uh, and also, if you're looking for coaching on how to kind of hack life a little bit, a couple of ways to get in contact with me, you can do that through right here on YouTube, going to the About Me section of the page uh, of, the, uh, of the YouTube channel, and then clicking on my website, or you can go to at P.O. Perception on Twitter, get information there. In any event, we're going to kind of just talk a little bit about some life hacks and some things that can make, um, you know, you can you can get you can get more valuable. So the the number number one is where you go when you're having a conversation or a presentation is important. If you go first or you go last, you're more memorable. This is because people remember bookends. You think about think about music, think about movies, think about movie scenes, think about conversations. You'll remember when you first met a person and you'll remember probably the last conversation you had with them and the last thing they said. Our brains filter about 70 to 80,000 bits of information so we key in on the beginning and ending of checkpoints. So if you're going to do a presentation for school or presentation at work putting yourself as you know kind of leaping in there and going first or going last, last would give you the advantage to be the last thing on their mind. First would be you're kind of opening things up and, and you're kind of being a leader, but that's there. Um, so the, the, the next thing this is, that's kind of useful is when you need a favor, ask when somebody is at least partially distracted. If you're looking to get a response, now this is kind of tricky. You can't obviously, when someone is completely consumed, uh, go up to them and interrupt what they're what they're doing or saying or thinking or feeling or whatever. You have to know your timing. But when someone's flipping the channel on TV or when they're adding something to the meal they're cooking for dinner, that's a great time to say, hey, can you give me a ride to the store tomorrow? Because they're more likely to say yes to get you to leave them alone so that they can get back to whatever they're doing. Timing this and not using it all the time and not using it every day is important too because once a person figures out what they're doing, they're less likely to help you. But if once a month or once every few months you, you, you sneakily ask for a favor, you can probably get uh, more out of people than you think if you really need something and you're in a jam. The, the next thing is building relationships is more valuable than the number of relationships you have. Unfortunately, we live in a society that's very focused on, um, you know, visibility and, and having more friends and more friends on social media and more followers on TikTok and all these things. But the quantity does not supersede uh, quality. And so if you focus on developing quality relationships, if you focus on getting to a place where you're good and you have maybe five or ten people that you can count on in, in an emergency situation, or maybe it's two or three, but it's better to have less and higher value than more and lower value. And a lot of people miss this kind of memo when building their relationships. So the next thing in this is uh, you can control how likable you are by being willing to mirror image how other people are behaving. This is body language. This is tone. This is speed of speech. This is... Um, how a person is standing, how they're pausing. The more you mirror image how you behave to the person you're trying to connect with, the more likely it is, even with word choices, that you can gain rapport with them quickly. And once you have rapport, you gain credibility. And once you have credibility, it's easier to kind of connect with people on a deeper level for whatever purpose may exist. So hopefully this has been helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.